Hello guys, welcome. It is 9.15 on a Saturday night. What is today? Today is June 20 something. <laughs> I don't know, June 27th? I don't know. Um, but in case you were wondering how everything is going in our little cozy two bedroom hotel apartment, let me just show you. So this is how things are going. This is a thrift store find. This is a really incredible, unique, beautiful, custom upholstered, amazing chair we got from this amazing thrift store in Raleigh, North Carolina for $44. And this is just the clutter and mess that we've got going on here because we're running out of space. We're running out of space, but I say that and here I am. I'm thrifting and antiquing. This little beautiful piece was from the same thrift store in Raleigh and this i am turning into my coffee bar i've been looking at some fun ideas on my you know home decor i just want to revamp things a little bit i'm you know my style is shabby chic slash french country and so i'm going to turn this little hutch into my coffee bar um i'm going to paint this it's going to look completely different we're going to add some fun decor this is where my coffee pots and teapots and things are going to go so we'll have plenty of space for that and in our room, this is how things are going. This is more of the antiquing, thrifting stuff. I almost was tempted to get like a small storage lot, but like this is this is what I mean. Like we have tried to move into the four bedroom. There are families, I mean, there's a family that Will actually knows that lives in a four bedroom. They have to leave for a week because they overbooked everybody. Everybody's in the same boat uh, that had to move and has nowhere to go right now while we wait because of this whole pandemic. But I've got a stroller in the master here. This is the, the realness of this. Like this is our two bedroom and, um, yeah, I'm definitely over this. We have two more weeks, like literally two more weeks are, we get to get the keys to our house on the eighth. And I think, uh, the movers will come back and deliver our household goods on the 11th. That chair looks good, by the way. I have grand plans for this beautiful chair. I love Christmas, so this is gonna be my Christmas chair. But while Christmas is not here, I mean, actually it's not limited to Christmas. It still kind of goes in with, you know, the whole vibe. I could make it work, but I probably will get a slip cover, maybe a, a really deep chair slip cover for this. Um, while it's not the holiday season, I don't know. Um, and then I found these for the girls. This, well, this here is a doll cradle. Sorry about the lighting. It's so dark. This room is horrible at night with the lighting, but uh, this is like a really cute vintage doll cradle I got from the Goodwill in Raleigh for $5. Then I also got this one here for $5. And then I got this beautiful little magazine rack, which I'll probably spruce up with a little bit of paint. Um, I'll probably leave it white, but I might put their books, put some books in there. So, um, this is how they're doing in their room. Their room stays pretty clean for the most part. They just have their toys. Um, they have a TV, we got the little table. So um, I have, those are some of my thrifty things I've tried to put away in here. Some baskets I found at Goodwill the other day and just some other things I've gotten. So, um, but yeah, we have two more weeks in this place and I have never been more ready to be in a house. Oh, <laughs> I've never been so ready. So here they are. I just had my breakfast tacos out on the patio. They're just playing out in the um, pool because I want to just kind of keep us out of the way when um, housekeeping was here. I actually love this chair here. I'm going to order a slip cover for this um, to make it work. Um, yeah, so this is the girls' room. I mean, they at, their room is actually the cleanest despite the toys and everything everywhere. Those are those uh, new doll cradles that I... Um, bought from the thrift store that I'm going to repaint, probably refinish like an antique white like that or something. Um, but I do have that Rust-Oleum antique gray. So I just might go ahead and use that. Um, so we got this little Melissa and Doug car mat yesterday and it came with these cars. So that's been keeping them occupied. Um, they bought this at like the thrift store here on post because, you know, they pick out a toy every time we go to the thrift store and I go looking for furniture and I'm like, whatever, that was $2. So I just let them roll with it. They find something that entertains them and keeps them busy and happy. Yeah, I'm so happy with this. I cannot wait to start with this project, painting it. Those are the pillows they gave us with a chair and then I bought those other two pillows. But let me just show you guys what else I kind of got with it. Um, so yeah, this is another little um, 
I don't know. I, I'm not sure what I'm gonna use this for, where I'm gonna use this, but this is really cute if I wanted to even use this here for my little coffee uh, bar. This is really cute, and I thought this was really beautiful. Just a simple bowl, but I could probably put, I don't know, something in there. I can find a use for that. Um, so I'm super excited for all of my decor to start coming together. I feel like the room is cleaner every time housekeeping comes and they just put fresh linens on. I feel better. I just feel like it's cleaner, although it's a cluttered mess. I did the whole pile of laundry that was there. There's just no space for everything. This is a good place to stay if you're like going to be here for a week, two tops. But, um, yeah, like I said, the four bedroom, I have learned for next time when we move out of here in a few years, I will request the four bedroom because even if we only have two kids, which I hope, you know, by that point we will have more. So yeah, fresh, clean bathroom, fresh towels. Um, I hope at that point we'll have more, but even if it's just two kids, even right now you run out of space, like you just go through the space. It's so small. And then Luis is coming today to visit. Um, so I don't know how we're going to work this. I mean, I was thinking maybe the girls could sleep with Will in the room. Paisley wakes up early in the middle of the night and maybe I can just kind of hang out in here because Paisley always comes and gets in our bed anyway. I mean, it's big enough that the girls and Will can sleep. I don't know. We're going to figure it out somehow, but we were supposed to have a four bedroom. We thought we we're going to be in a four bedroom when she decided to come down, which um, it's okay. We'll make it work though. We'll make it work. All right. So I'm just going to get the girls a quick lunch um, since I don't know, since we have to go here like in 30 minutes because I really want to stop at the P.O. box before we go to their appointment, their eval. Um, so this is their lunch. Paisley's is just going to have some chicken nuggets. These are the Tyson's gluten-free, all-natural chicken breast. These are actually really very good and some green grapes. And then Avery's going to have some of these, um, uh, what do they call Fish sticks. But these actually are the Gortons, but they're not like the mints. They're like full filet and they're so so good. I mean, I love eating these. So that's what they're going to have for lunch. They had just had a banana and they both had breakfast. So we need to hurry up and get out of here shortly. Good morning, guys. I've got my coffee. This is uh, the coffee I have made here at the hotel. We are making do. I have been going to Starbucks drive through just about every day, but today I decided to make my own coffee. Today, actually, right now it is um, just about 10 o'clock. Today is the day we finally, finally, finally get our keys to our house. I'm so excited because if you've ever been through this and um, if you've lived in a hotel with children for over a month, you know how uh, trying that can be on everyone. Everyone has been stressed out. Um, this has been very difficult. I will never ever do this again. Uh, normally we would have just gone straight to our house, but again, because of the pandemic, there was a stop to all military moves and it was an ordered stop. It was not like, you know, everybody's just decided to be a standstill. So the military ordered all PCS moves to stop and nobody could move until June 30th, uh, unless you had an exception of policy, which Will had. Um, because under normal circumstances, we would have been in our house, just gone straight there on May 15th. I mean, even at your worst case scenario, sometimes you can't get your things, maybe household goods for a couple of weeks because it might be a move across country or I don't know what they've got going on, even a move, you know, to another country with the military. But this has been different because we didn't have a house. I would have stayed at Fort Eustis, but we couldn't stay in our house because there was another family coming in, unfortunately. So we would have just stayed there until basically last week. We would have just moved last week. But unfortunately, that was not an option. So we're here. But the good thing is we were able to just go ahead and start the girls in their services. And they had their first day of speech at their new location, at their new center. They're going to actually be able to go to speech OT. Paisley's the only one that does OT. So they'll be able to go there, uh, speech OT and ABA all at the same place. That means I don't have to do running around. So that's, that's a bonus. Um, but today we're getting our keys. We can move things in, like move things in right away once we get our keys i think 10 o'clock will said i can't like i have to get the green light from him i'm waiting just to hear from him um you know they're doing all touchless so where normally you would do a walkthrough there is no more of that they just leave the key for you um in a little lock box and you know they're like do your own walkthrough submit your paperwork great um which we already actually kind of 
snuck in there the other day. Um, I think the painters or the people who were doing the carpet left the back door unlocked. Uh, we have new carpet, so I'm happy about that. It's that Berber carpet I like. Um, so we got a glimpse of our actual house. We got to see it the other day, but we don't get our household goods until Saturday. We had to schedule the movers to come back to get our things out of storage and to bring it to us and unpack it. But the soonest we could get was the 11th. So today is the 8th, so we'll get our keys and I can move everything from the hotel today and tomorrow, which we have to do anyway because we actually have to be out of this hotel on Friday because there's somebody else coming in to stay here long term and we have to go to another one. So it'll be in the same little vicinity. We just have to go to another one for one night. Inconvenient. I'm so over this hotel living thing. Never doing it again. I don't recommend it. I recommend it for like a couple of weeks. It's great for a couple of weeks. But anything beyond that, it's just stressful. We would have had a four bedroom available, but they, we've been calling back every week, but they have, I mean, everybody's been in the same position, you know? So there have been families coming in that have already booked those four bedrooms. So unfortunately we couldn't, but hey, I'm grateful we at least weren't in just a one room hotel. It could have been worse. So very excited to be moving our things out today. Oh, and Avery, you guys, lost my wedding ring set. So it is somewhere in this hotel. So um, it's not my original set, it's the one, the Morganite and Rose Gold set that I actually ironically got for her as a push present, if you will, or um, you know, present for your baby. Um, but I got it for her baptism, so it was very, very special. I love wearing that ring. And I heard her, I was doing my makeup the other day Getting ready to go somewhere. I thought she was just throwing one of her toys up in the air like she normally does, but she had come in here. I saw her and my ring was on the bed because I had just gotten out of the shower, put lotion on, and I noticed when I went to put it on that it was gone. So it's somewhere around here. I have until Friday morning to find it. Will thinks, you know, it's it's here. It is here. It just is probably hiding. There's so much stuff, you know. We have to try to look under and between, and it's it's probably just I've looked in the obvious places, but I'm going to wait till we clear a lot of things out to really like search deeply for it because it's here. I just don't know where and I'll have to, if I don't find it, I'll have to alert the cleaning crew that, you know, I have lost a piece of jewelry here. So it would suck. But, uh, if I didn't find it, but you know, I, I'm hoping to find it. I'm hopeful. So I didn't see her with it, but obviously I know she had it. So yeah. Um, but anyway, Let's go over to the house because uh, hopefully they'll give me a call soon. And um, I mean, I'm excited to show you. I'll give you guys a whole empty house tour and start moving things in. Okay, so this is what I have pulled, what I've got ready for the first load over to the house. Um, although this is all not going to fit in one trip. So what I'm going to do is just take some of these decor items that I, the things that I purchased and close because here's why. So I probably didn't share with you guys. We went shopping over the holiday 4th of July weekend. We went to Ikea on Saturday on actual 4th of July. And because, well, what else are we going to do? There's nothing going on. Everything's closed. So, uh, we went to Ikea and then no, that was Friday. Friday the 4th. Friday the 3rd. Friday the 3rd, we went to Ikea. On 4th of July, on Saturday morning, we went um, antiquing, antique shopping, thrift shopping, and we found some really cool places um, in a little nearby downtown uh, area of one of the little um, cities that you know we're very familiar with. We've never been to the store, so they were moving locations, and so they had a huge sale, and it was like everything I have been searching for, all of the you know French country shabby chic items. So I have been driving around with all of that stuff. My com my back of my van is completely full. I have been driving around with that for days now, so I will be able to offload that today, and then come back for that. So whatever fits in my front seat this trip is gonna go and everything else I'll have to get later. So like I said, it'll be several trips throughout the day. Um, still haven't got the call, it is 10.30. So waiting for Will to call me saying we can come over, um, but I'm gonna get the girls dressed. And normally what we do during the day when we wake up, we usually have a routine. We get up, brush our teeth, get dressed, brush hair, 
go to the P.O. box here on post and I check my mail for mail and packages. Then we go to the drive through Starbucks right next door and get a Starbucks and then we'll go over to the park for about an hour and a half to two hours depending on you know how the weather is. But today, it rained yesterday so the ground is wet, so no playground. But I figured they would just be more excited to see their house and just run around an empty house. Kids love running around an empty house so I'm gonna let them do that. And then hopefully I can get some work done while I'm there. I'm hoping they might want to take a nap today and just sleep in the car. So that way I can literally just make several trips, drop off, come back, load the car, drop off, come back. That would be ideal, but we'll see. Oh, wow. You made a stack. Here's your heart, ma'am. <laughs> well, they're happily playing. So now I have like everything just in the way and now I'm going to have to just take the clothes. I'm not going to hang them back up. I mean, I don't know. I'm going to have to move this stuff just out of the way so we can access our room since we're here for another day. Um, so I guess I'll be working on this tonight and then tomorrow we'll move it over. So maybe I'll just pack clothes and totes and have the totes stacked and ready to go. And I will see you guys tomorrow. This is the new entertainment they've resorted to, being in a hotel, guys. It loses the magic very fast. It has been over a month. So now they're scooting on blankets, moving themselves from room to room. This is like the new fun activity they've been doing all morning. So we clearly need to get out of here. Okay, guys, it is about 1.30 in the afternoon. Actually, no, it's two. And we're just over here at one of these little playgrounds. Um, so the sun came out, it's not raining, so it gives us something to do for a little while today while we wait. Okay, so a little update on the house. I went over to check the P.O. box. By the way, it's the middle of the day, so it's two o'clock in the afternoon. We're at the park right now because it's actually tolerable today. The um, humidity level is very low. It feels like it's a low 80s type of day, so it feels amazing out. So that's the only reason we were actually at the park in the middle of the day but it's also nice and shaded. That's why I like coming to this one because it's right next to the shop at. So if I need to pop in to use the restroom or grab something to eat or drink, we can do that easily without having to put everybody in the car and drive somewhere. But anyway, so I just went over to the PO box to grab packages and I went over to the house because I'm expecting packages to arrive today because we were supposed to have been there today. And there is uh, like three trucks in the driveway, which I assume is the, uh, the leasing office, like maintenance people or whoever they are. Um, probably doing last minute work on the house and so I knocked on the okay not sure I think the battery just died so we fixed that but anyway I knocked on the door and I asked if there were packages and explaining to the guy he was wearing like the leasing office company shirt um, and so I knew it was you know somebody from there working on the house and he's like we're actually just finishing up he gave me the name of a woman to call over at the leasing center for that neighborhood which I called over and spoke to somebody else and Basically, this woman was in another office, but the woman I spoke with is my leasing agent. She already seemed to know what I was calling about. She's like, is this in regards to this house? And she gave us the house number, ISBS. And apparently she had already talked to Will about it. And she's like, sorry for the confusion, but they may be finishing up. And But we can't do anything until RCI, the military inspection has actually walked through the home. So I thought we might have a little glimmer of hope to move in today. Um, it smells nice and new in there, but until they get that memo and she said furthermore, basically if they're just finishing up at two in the afternoon, there's no way they're even going to do a walkthrough, but they do have us, they said, um, scheduled for a walkthrough first thing in the morning. So they should give us, send that memo over first thing in the morning and then, um, give us a key. They're going to like expedite this, try to expedite it as soon as possible for us so we can get in there. So it's just frustrating when we've been here for over a month in a hotel, kids are bored, I'm bored, um, COVID happened, nothing's open, so it leaves limited option of things to occupy with them with during the day. So I'll just be relieved when we can finally move in. So Avery put on my lip balm, it's my Burt's Bees tinted lip balm, and she just thinks she's the cutest. She wanted to do it herself. Oh, don't touch it, it's gonna get everywhere. So she put it on herself, she had to do it herself. And <laughs> it's at the bottom. Oh, we're getting more. This is going to be real interesting. So this means I'm going to have to hide this. 
Okay, put on your top lip too. I'm gonna have to find a new hiding spot for my lip balm in my bag. Okay, that's enough, that's enough. It's on, oh dear Lord. Okay, yep, it's, it's real cute. Yep, that's lip balm. We're definitely finding a new hiding spot. Hey guys, it is the next day. Today is Thursday the 9th. I literally just got in. Um, my leasing agent is leaving. We signed everything online. Um, she was here to drop off stuff. We just happened to beat her here, so she had her mask on, but it was good to meet her in person. But we're here, guys. We're in her home. I'm so happy. Let me give you guys a quick little tour. The girls are already upstairs. Uh, they're just happy to be in some space, and I'm happy to be in an actual yeah. home. Probably gonna put their dressers in the closet just so they have extra space. I love how spacious it is up here. Here is their bathroom, which again, there's the carpet here. And then they have their toilet and tub. So I don't know, hopefully the carpet isn't gonna be too much of a problem, but I don't know, we'll see. And then we have a linen closet right next to the stairs. They're loving the carpet, it's so funny. Um, our washer and dryer hookup, nothing exciting. Um, this will probably be the guest room, I feel like just because, I don't know, it's a little bit smaller and, but our closet is good. This is a good closet. So we like storing things in the guest closet. Yeah, I'll probably make this the guest closet because we can actually store things in here, hang stuff up, utilize the space, because I don't want to take away from the girls' closets. I didn't even look in this closet when we kind of snuck in here the other day, so. Uh, that's good to know. So this will be the guest room, I think. And I think this will be one of the other girls' rooms. Um, so this is on the front of the house. And the closet, it looks just like the other one. So this is perfect because this is enough for the both of them. And we can literally put their dressers in here so we don't take away the space. Um, but that is our house, guys. We are in. We're going to start moving stuff We're now. So excited. All right, guys. Well, that is it for our little home tour. We're finally in. Our household goods don't get delivered till Saturday, though. But I have a ton of stuff to start unloading in my car. My friend is going to come over and help me run stuff from the hotel. So a ton of stuff to do. My parents are coming in today. So next time I see you guys, we'll officially be in this house. I'll try to get as much footage as I can, maybe of like the movers, like as they bring stuff in, but as we're decorating. But I'm just so happy. I'm so happy we're in. So stay tuned, guys. More to come. Thank you so much for following us on this journey and being with us. Um, please like this video and subscribe to see more. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.